If you develop on Linux, you know that manual pages are your friend. Manual pages are a standard means of documenting programs. Most all the system programs have man pages available. You use man pages from the command line to discover program capabilities. Man pages discuss available flags and options for the program with an outline of usage. While most commands provide some type of minimal help, man pages provide more context. Man pages are especially handy when writing shell scripts. It is nice to have a good explanation of the command capabilities so that you can leverage them in your scripts. Hello, it's Jim from jetsonhacks.com. On today's show, we are going to discuss man pages on the Jetson. Because man pages take up around two gigabytes of drive space, they are not present in the default Jetson Linux images. This video is in three different parts, followed by a quick discussion. Chapters are marked. There are chapters for installing on Jetpack 5, Jetpack 4, and using man pages with a web browser. The first time we open a terminal on Jetpack 5, we see a greeting that instructs us to open the man page sudo underscore root. Let's try that out. Here's a nice little story that tells me why that won't work. Let's find out where unminimize is. It can find that okay. Let's check to see if mandb is installed. There it is. Let's check drive space. Let's make it human readable. Let's update the apt cache for good luck. Password. I always do this on a new install. Now let's try unminimize. Would you like to continue? Yes, please. Installation complete. Let's go a little meta. Man, man. It works. An interface to the system reference manuals. Q to quit. Let's take a look at ls. Let's compare that to help. It looks like they're both pretty similar. Let's look at the scary change mode command. That's pretty short. Let's look at the man page. That's a respectable write-up. Let's see how much room this takes up on the drive. That's around 1.4 gigabytes. The first time that we open the terminal on Jetpack 4, we see a greeting that instructs us to open the man page sudo underscore root. Let's try that out. No manual entry for sudo underscore root. Let's ask for ls. Hmm, it seems pretty insistent. We need to install manual pages. Fortunately, I know a few tricks. Let's see if this system has unminimize. It does. This is a new system. I will do a sudo apt update. Password. I do this on all my new systems. Let's give it a go. I love it when programs tell you a little story. It may fail and it's not my fault. Would you like to continue to the end of the world as we know it? Yes, please. Roro, let's cancel this. Dpackage is not happy. It seems upset with gconf2. Let's uninstall it and then reinstall it. It says, I hate you. Let's help old dpackage out. Dictionaries common is messed up. Let's try our fix again. That's better. Yes, please. Looking through the log, it removed a couple of packages that I want to keep. Let's grab those. And reinstall them. I'll leave these directions in the article linked below.
Let's try it out. Man Man, an interface to the online reference manuals. That's good. Let's try man sudo root. How to run administrative commands. You gotta like that. Let's try man ls. That appears to work. Let's try out the nefarious change mode. Yepper, it's here too. And here's the drive space. Let's see which version of CUDA we are running. CUDA 10.2. Let's set up the man path so it can find the CUDA manual pages. We will put this in the .bash RC file. Let's scroll to the bottom of the file. Then we will set the man path environment variable to point to the CUDA man pages. Here's the magical incantation. The CUDA version must match with the one installed on the system. Make sure we save this. And we will source it to make sure the changes take effect. Let's see if it can find it in VCC. Good to go. Most man pages are available online. For example, here are the Ubuntu manuals. You could also do a web search. Make sure that your versions match. The CUDA manuals are also online. Again, make sure that the version on your system matches the documentation that you are using. There is an archive button at the top of the page. We are looking for 10.2. There it is. And now we are in documentation goodness. There you have it. You can install the manual pages on your Jetson. It takes around 45 minutes to an hour to set up. It also uses around 1.5 to 2 gigabytes of drive space. If you are running from a smaller eMMC, this might be an issue. The advantage here is that it allows offline access and it is the fastest way to get your information. On the other hand, if you're using a Jetson with an internet connection, Using a web browser for online documentation browsing may be a good solution. There's no setup time and no drive space requirements. This is usually the choice for people who don't use MAD pages frequently. As always, thanks for watching.